Hello everybody, this is Connie and I'm back with a coloring um, obsession video. I'm sorry about this that I didn't have kind of been slacking off a little bit. I am on break from school right now and um, I'm in my first week of break and I've been in a funk ever since I got off of work. So I haven't felt like doing anything. So we are going to talk about, <clears throat> these are Dollar Tree coloring books. This is the Designer Series Perfect Harmony, Designs to Relax and Inspire. And I'm going to read what it has. If you enjoyed coloring in this book, look for more Designer Series books. There's the Collector's Corners, Colors and Style, Color Fantasy, Creative Creatures, and Time for Tea. Okay, so let's start looking here. And there is the image that is on the front page that you can kind of copy if you want. <clears throat> the only thing, sorry about that. The only thing that I do not like about these is that they are um, double-sided. They're not one-sided. There's this page and this page, and the pages are very thin. So what you need to do is pick which one you want to do in the book. And color, you know, um, take the other side, the other side, and make a copy of it. That way you, if you color on this page, it's, if it bleeds through this page, who cares? Okay? Alright, so this is very pretty. I really like this kind of stuff where it's got different designs. Pretty Mandela. Trying to get this so it's. This is really different. It looks kind of like Indian inspired. I saw a video a couple days ago on YouTube on Facebook, where it shows that they how they do these so they get them perfectly the Mandelas so they get like. They draw this one, and it automatically will draw these the same as this one, only mirror images. It's rather kind of cool. It's a computer program. I love this. Love, love, love this one. These are really, really cool. I really like this book. Yep, I really like this book. This has got the kind of things that I really like. All the elements that I really like. I love this kind of stuff. Where it's different patterns each one. Except for they're very small. That's the only problem. Very small. They could have made this like this and made it bigger. <clears throat> I've got a frog in my throat today. I'm very sorry about that. Looks like the, uh, what are they called? Pagoda houses, Japanese pagoda houses. Very pretty. This one here I'm not that crazy about. The designs in this book are way too small. They're itty bitty tiny. Um, even though I absolutely love, love, love the, the designs, like this here, I love that. Um, they're a little small. Love this. See, this here is just so busy. Um, I don't enjoy this one because it's just way too busy and way too small. It's going to look kind of muddy when you're done, I think. Love it. Love all the different ones around it. Pretty. But look again, just really tiny. Looks like pizzas. I love this. I like this one too. <clears throat> again, way too small. I love this one. This I think is my favorite out of all of them. This is my kind of page. 
I love doing this kind of stuff. Looks like a quilt. Just so small. And here's the last page. Again, Guy, Perfect Harmony. This was a nice book, except for, like I said, everything is way too small in it. To get everything in it that they wanted to get in it, they had to shrink it down way too much. Thanks for joining me. Talk to you in my next one. Bye-bye.